Hello class, it's me, Mr. Turi, and today we are going to start our origami unit. This unit will last one week, it's not really a unit, that's more of a school term, origami project. And it will have six forms. The first form that we're going to do will be a review for all of us. It is the easiest form, it's five folds, and it is the paper cup, which allows you to hold water with paper. So. We're gonna start with a piece of origami paper. Your paper is probably practice, which means it's the same color on both sides. But for demonstration purposes, we're gonna have special authentic origami paper, which has a pattern or a color on one side and is white on the other, so we can see differences. Uh, the origami paper in classical Japanese origami is six inches by six inches, perfect square. We don't tape it and we don't cut it. You don't cut eat. You keep it the way it is. So, let us start by turning it over and folding it corner to corner, edge to edge. You can use the table as a nice natural flat surface and to guard against uh, mistakes and accidents, you want to wait to fold it until everything matches perfectly. So in this way, origami is a meditation. You learn to control yourself and you learn to be patient. So we fold it corner to corner, edge to edge, and we make a triangle. You open it up and you have a crease. Now, notice the strong horizontal line on the bottom. We're going to recreate that line with this edge by folding this point, this corner, and touching this part of the side. So you'll notice you have a strong horizontal line and you have another strong horizontal line here. They're parallel. They're along the same path, separated by space. We do the same thing here to create a symmetrical shape. Same on the left and the right. All right, so it's not exactly perfect. So I take my time. I rethink what I have done and maybe I move this a little lower. Nice. Now, you'll see that you have a little triangle down here. And you have a big triangle up here you're going to try to make this point get as close to this as possible without going too far. You'll realize when it can't go anymore. You pull this down. You create an upside down triangle. Flipping it over like a banana, you peel this side to the back. Opening it up fingers and gently pop it open. Now the next step that I'm about to show you is something a student taught me. We can all learn from each other. Flip this upside down, push gently on the bottom, and you have a cup that stays open. Now the test will be to see if this can hold water for three seconds. Let us count together. One, two, three. Congratulations. Your paper cup is completed. Next, it will be on to our second form, the fortune teller. And we're back. Hello again, folks. It's Mr. Ture. And we have our second in a series of two origami forms for the day. Now, we are going to make the fortune teller. And this form will deal with terms like symmetry, front and back, and center point. So, as before, we're going to be very relaxed, and calm, confident. We're going to flip it over for the white side. Once again, we're going to start with the triangle form, corner to corner, 
edge to edge. Once we're confident, then if we want, we can use the table for a natural edge. All right. Now we have a center line, but we don't have a center point yet. For that, we need to make four triangles where we only have two right now. So you can do this any number of ways. You can fold it again. So it's corner to corner, edge to edge, and now we have four triangles of equal size. See how gently you can do this? Opening it up, you can see your center point. Now, this is where I get into trouble sometimes. I'll take a corner and I'll forget where the center point is and I'll go past it. You want to do your best to make sure it doesn't go anywhere past it. It goes to it. And you'll know that it goes to it because these ends, these edges, will line up. You can tell when you're going too far when it overlaps or it doesn't feel right. You want it to just naturally fit. You can move the paper. It's not stuck to the table. Try to get as close as possible, but don't become anxious about it. Stay calm and relaxed. The origami can be very therapeutic. All right. Now, we have a center point. Flip this over because we're using front and back also. And this time you're going to have to feel more than you can see. The center point will be in the middle. You'll find it where all four triangles meet. Now you're going to fold this back. Moving the paper, we fold this back. Ah! You'll see that these two don't match, so we must go backwards a little bit before we go far, like, further and make more of an error. Let's retrace our steps. You can always do that. This one was at the center point. This one, sometimes it's just a little adjustment you have to make. Also at the center point. Interesting. This one at the center point as well. This one also there. All right. Let's see how this changes what we just did. So folding it back. Fold all four back. Trying to get as close to the middle as possible. All four back. We have an envelope shape, pretty cute. And we're going to fold this one back. Now you have an even smaller square. So, one side has complex folds, many little pockets. The other side has four pockets, very simple. Before we put our thumbs and fingers into this side, we're going to fold it gently as a rectangle, fold it gently again as a rectangle, and now, Slowly and carefully put our finger in here, our thumb in the one next to it. Our thumb here, now we have three out of the four, but this one is sort of stuck. So gently, using finesse, we put our finger into this one. And we have the fortune teller. When I was your age, uh, people on the back of the school bus used to play fortune teller games all the time. Very simple. Before your cell phones and your Snapchats and your Game Boys, this is what we did. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Uh, thank you for folding along with me. We have four more forms.
two of which will be brand new that we've never done before, including the legendary Ninja Star. Have a good afternoon, and we'll see you tomorrow.